Let us now understand some of the concepts given in the teaching of history. You must have come across concepts like unity in diversity, cultural heritage, architecture, art and many more. Now how do we understand these concepts? For that knowledge of sources are very very important. You must have read in your textbooks as well as you must have gone on a field visit. Resources are many. They are numismatic, literary sources, archaeological remains and oral sources. Some of them also talk about travel account because people have come at different points of time and have written about our society, culture and heritage. Now you know sources are of two kinds, primary source and the secondary source. Primary sources are sources that belong to the period under investigation. They are remains of temples which come under archaeological or tangible resources. Literary sources are those that have been written during that period. You must have read about many literary sources and come to know about what the society was during that period of time. Then you have travel accounts. Travel accounts are also written and they tell us about trade, society, they talk about different cultural features and many more. Then you have the oral resources. You must have read about different movements in history like our freedom struggle. Many of the people who have participated in different movements are living legend even to this day. For example, the Quit India movement and many of the survivors have talked about their experiences. Oral resources bring an emotional connect and they are primary because they talk about the experiences which people have lived at that particular point of time. You have official records which talk about what was happening during the period. They give the government's perspective. All of you have known about the National Archives. They document several of the written sources in terms of files. Now many of us and you too have written a lot about the period that you are experiencing and wanting to write about. So when we consult a source that talks about the primary source, it becomes secondary because it has already been interpreted by the scholar. Therefore, it is called secondary. A judicious mix of primary as well as secondary sources will help you to get a holistic picture of that period. You can go on reading because there is no end to it. Many scholars write about different aspects of that period. So you must be a good reader. We have given you details about different types of sources. After doing these activities, you can evaluate yourself and see where you stand, whether you can critically examine the sources, whether you can uh, write more about the sources in your own words or you can link between the past and present through these sources. This will help make the subject interesting and link the past with the present, make subject lively, interesting and take you on a continuous journey of exploring to unravel the period that is interesting you. The multiplicity of resources will help you in connecting the past with the present. It will take you through a journey of exploration, of unraveling your own curiosity.